what I want to do now is to kind of quickly run through a couple more examples, a couple different aspects of using the PowerBox uh, with the definition of this and the uh, Save Life Vibrance sliders. Where with this one, if I just bring out the Vibrance, you can see it just really enhances the color in this picture. I'm basically done. I can try the Vibrance uh, percent and uh, get what I want. Usually 50% works pretty well. That's the, the default. And then with the definition sliders, if I go to the larger radius and then I bring it out, you can see that this picture, much more than, than the one we just edited with a bird, really makes a difference with how the um, the picture just really comes out. You know, someone described it as almost a 3D effect because it's a really good way to get your picture to kind of pop out of, of the monitor by, by adding the definition. So I can even increase the radius on this one. It tends to look better. And what I can do is uh, a good trick to do when you're adding these these high radius with a lot of strength is to come back on the... Um, on the strength slider because it really helps not blow out these highlight areas and then you can also use the the darken slider to help control it too but the main thing here is is that I can really bring out the radius and the strength on this particular picture and a lot of pictures look this way too so then when I go to layer one with the smaller radius I can use that strength as well now since this is a small picture it really helps to use the sharpen. You know, with a, with a lot of pictures, you know, from directly from the cameras, they're, they're very big, but with smaller pictures, a lot of time using the sharpness works out. So you can see that I can use the sharpness a little bit to bring it out. This is an area, too, where I would really compare it to the original picture because a lot of times the sharpness can look good, but then, you know, if you don't look at it for a couple of seconds, you can realize you can really go overboard with it. So um, sometimes it's good to, to be a little careful with it. But if I look at the original picture, you can see that. You know, it really does pop out of the picture. It really has a lot of color. And if we look at it basically full screen, I'll bring out the toolbar, that you know, we really get a nice picture here. Um, for some reason, getting cut off on this video, but that's basically you know another way to use the power box where it can really just bring out a picture. So here's another example. Now this this is uh, points out a couple things with using these controls. You know, one of the bigger tools in Sage Light is the Undo Brush, and this is a good example of that because here I can bring out the Vibrance slider, and what you can see is is that it really adds the color. But a lot of times with color, whether it's saturation or vibrance, just as a general rule, that if you have a picture that doesn't have a lot of contrast, it doesn't really necessarily look good. In fact, sometimes. With a picture, you can bring out the vibrance and it'll just look totally awful if it has a lot of uh, light in the shadows. And what you can do is you can add contrast to the picture and then suddenly it'll look just fine. So with this picture, for example, it looks okay. I like it. But what I can do, you see, I can add contrast to the picture and all of a sudden it just really starts to bring out the uh, the color that I added in. Or what I can do is I can, if I don't want to add contrast, because you can see it starts to get you know a little contrast in these clouds and in those areas, what I can do is I can use this darken area with the lows set, and what I can do is you can see I'm just I'm just bringing down the shadow area, which I think looks a lot nicer. But also, what I want to show is I want to show a couple of things here. Realistically, I'm adding color here. Let me put it right there. But I, I really like the color here, but I don't necessarily like the color in the sky. I think the color in the sky is a, is a little too too deep and looking a little fake. And what I can do is I can either bring back the vibrance percent to turn it back into saturation but since I really liked this area here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and concentrate on the sky first get kind of a sky that I like right there and I'm going to apply this image then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the vibrance again just on this area I'm going to apply that then I'm going to use the undo brush and I'm going to fill in the last thing that I have and then I'm going to just really just do the brush in here and what I also want to show here in this picture is a trick that you can do with the definition slider. You know, a lot of times, you know, I've said this in other videos, that if you do one thing to the entire picture, it doesn't necessarily look good. But if you do it in certain areas, it can look really nice. So, for example, here, since there's really not a lot going on with this picture in certain ways, I'm just going to use this, um, the first layer in the definition. What I can do is just say I can bring out the definition in this foreground area, but you can see in the sky, it's not exactly what I want. So I'm going to press apply again, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the undo brush, do exactly what I did before, I'm going to use a smaller brush, so that what I can do is I can just use it on this area here, and then just really bring out the areas on the boat. 
And so what I have now is I have this, this definition in the areas of the boat and the printing on the boat where, where it really makes the boat stand out more because the entire picture doesn't have this serious amount of definition to it. And so if I look at the before and after, you can see that I, I have a, a much different picture and the sky really hasn't changed that much because I really like the way the sky was. I just deepened it just a slight amount. So one last example here it shows a lot of what you can do in stage light, but not only that, it shows you a lot of what you can do in stage light with just a few controls. What I have here with this picture is it's very bright, as you can see. And so what I can do is I can add that little bit of the vibrance. But as I mentioned, a lot of times when you do that with bright pictures, especially in the shadows, it doesn't necessarily look very realistic. I think it looks nicer, but at the same time, it maybe just shows how bright this picture is. And so what I want to do is I want to use this, this darken area, which I'm going to do in another video. But what I can do very quickly is I can click the lower area and then just bring bring it down. And then what I can do is I can use the controls on the quick edit area to really just bring it down more. You can see that as I do that it really just shows the definition that's already there in these areas and that's how the stage light curves work where it really brings down the highlights really well and then I can bring down this area and I can add a little bit of contrast and I can just generally play with the controls to do what I want and then with the definition slides I can add just a touch of definition and I can just really just bring this down. And so now I'm going to bring up the shadows a little bit. Again, it's just a matter of just playing around with the controls and getting something that looks nice. And so with this picture, you can see that if I look at the before and after, I have something that looks very different. In fact, I think I want to bring it down even more because I have something that now looks like, you know, maybe the sun was peeking through the leaves and just hitting the, the edges of this flower here. And so you can see that with just a few controls, so if I press unchanged you can see it's like wow that's a lot of difference in this picture here with just just a few controls and really just by experimenting and playing around I'm not re being very intentional about it as much as I'm just saying okay I want to lower this area let me try this or I want to bring out the color here let me try that and so if I press apply here then we can see that now I can go on and do other things with this picture so anyway so that's the basic introduction to the two elements of the power box and a lot of what's new in version 4.